Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we'll be talking about add-ons in classic World of Warcraft. We'll be talking about how to update or where to get add-ons, how to automatically keep them updated with the minimal amount of effort needed. We'll be talking about the clients to help you to achieve that. We'll be talking about the add-ons that I use for combat, for leveling, for keeping buffs and things like that. Basically, I'll cover everything to do with my user interface. This is not going to be talking about should you be using add-ons in Classic. I know that a lot of people might be trying to achieve the authentic vanilla experience or authentic Classic experience. If you're watching this video, you probably just want to see some cool add-ons and how to get them. So let's get started. So now you see the first thing that I have here is this client called Twitch. It's a Twitch client. It's used to update add-ons for multiple games. Once you go to mods, you'll see World of Warcraft. And the important part here, you'll see the different directories, basically. You have the retail, PTR, and classic. You probably don't have PTR. So if you've been using this client on retail, again, you can see all the add-ons that I have on my retail BFA add-on section. Quite a few of them need to be updated. I can just click update all. The interesting part here is that you also have to select classic if you want to update classic add-ons or get classic add-ons. So once you select it, you can see here, these are the add-ons that I have for my classic World of Warcraft. I can just click update all if they need to be updated. I do it every single day because the new add-ons really get the updates pushed out on a daily basis. I have QI nameplates. As you can see, QI nameplates is very, very popular in BFA. I have classic threat meters. I have Questy, which is very, very cool. Omni CC, which is used to kind of show the cooldown on spells details again another very popular add-on from bfa and we'll talk about all of these don't worry about it we chorus 2 again super popular in bfa ported to classic the thing is if you want to get add-ons because you probably will have everything empty here you can just go to get more add-ons and now you'll see the popular list you can click on see all and this is the most popular add-ons for classic World of Warcraft, because again, the URL is in classic. You can see DBM, Details, Weekors, TomTom. All of these are available here. You can just click install and that's it. Another tool that I want to talk about is the Took UI client. So if you end up using LVUI, LVUI is another super popular add-on package that achieves multiple different things to do with nameplates, yeah, to do with health frames, to do with chat, to do with action bars. Basically, TukUI does it all. And if you're so familiar with TukUI in BFA, you want to try and get it on Classic. The TukUI client, which is the latest version, try and update the latest version. We'll have this thing at the very bottom, Classic Retail. So if I want to swap from my retail, this is my obviously my retail, LVI and add-on skin, I can see it's up to date. That's all good. If I want to swap to classic, I just do that and I can install updates every single day. And I've been installing updates every single day using this client. So if you're using LVI, get TukUI client. If you want to get all other add-ons, I recommend Twitch client. So let's talk about the add-ons that I have right now. I've been testing a lot of different add-ons and especially leveling or questing add-ons. I actually have three of those. I have one here, one here, another one here displaying different quest objectives that I need and I've been seeing which one fits the best for me and which one can fill in the gaps in terms of leveling and I'll talk about that later on but I want to talk about LVI and LVI is basically a complete package for multiple different things you can see it handles action bars bags buffs and debuffs chat nameplates and all that things you can see my action bars here you can see I have a mouse over action bar if I mouse over this I can see my drinks, I can see my profession and things like that. I don't want to see this all the time, so that's why I have a mouse over on it. And you can see that LVI is just capable of so many different things. You don't have to use everything LVI provides. You can see here my nameplates are actually disabled because I don't want to use LVI nameplates. Instead, I want to use QI nameplates because QI nameplates have this option with the name only option. And this name only option, once you enable friendly nameplates, you can see what the NPCs are going to look like. You can see the nameplates, you can see the players. I think it looks a lot better like this. And if a player loses HP, their name kind of becomes a little bit faded out. And I feel it looks really, really, really nice what QI nameplates provide. 
So don't feel like you need to install LVI and then have to use everything LVI provides. That's very, very important. Just to showcase the nameplates as well. You can see here I have a board and I just prefer the way it looks like. If I select it, it has these little arrows to know which is my current target. So QI nameplates is the ones that I use right now. If we talk about the actual leveling add-ons itself, I've been testing out three leveling add-ons. Number one, in my opinion, or a very, very popular option is Questy. Questy is an add-on that provides, in my opinion, the best map detail. So you can see here all of these little things that I have on my map. You can see I have Redlish, uh, Red Ridge Goulash quest that I need to get great Gortok snouts, and they kind of spawn here. This is the exact spawn locations that I have to get. This is level 20, Red Ridge Mystics. These spawn here and you basically know exactly where to go. Once you accept a quest, Questy will kind of tell you, you got to go there, you got to go here, you pick up an item. And it doesn't only work for the current zone, it works for everything. Like for example, if I go to back to Westfall, there's a quest that I need to turn in. And there's also quest items or I need to collect Miner's Union card right here in this zone. And even for the areas that you haven't been yet, it shows you where the quests are. Now, in order to eliminate the fog, I'm using Litrix map add-on as well, because this usually will have a fog of war type of deal happening because I haven't been in Loch Madan yet. So, Questy, in my opinion, is mandatory in terms of, to, in terms of where are the mobs that you need to kill. Super, super good. Now, I've been also testing Azeroth's autopilot. So, this is the add-on that basically was super super popular in bfa because bfa or at least the, during, uh, during the leveling phase and they kind of poured it into classic you can see i have an arrow i need to get hillary's necklace right there 66 yards now i've been experiencing certain bugs with this because with my paladin class quest it bugged out and i wasn't able to go past that point they've made an update and now it seems to work so there has been certain bugs with this add-on i'm not sure how buggy or or whether there's going to be more books, but overall it's still pretty good. And another add-on that I've been using, you can see right here, this is basically reading a leveling guide in game. That's what it basically does. It allows you to click these checkpoints once you complete it, and then it tells you another arrow where to go and get it or to do the next step. This is also very good because, and this is called the guide line. If you need to kind of know it or you need to uh, need to install it it's called guide lime and it also allows you to install different leveling guides into it right now i think i have sage and togs leveling guide and the way you know it you just right click on the add-on itself available guides and now you have an option 1 to 12 elven forest 10 to 20 dark shore and if you don't want to do that, I have Sage Guide here, which is a separate install. You have to install it separately on top of Guideline. And let's say I want to go and do Redridge 19 to 20, but I'm not 19 to 20. But let's say I want to do it and it loads it right here and it tells me what to do. And once I complete a quest, I just tick it and then I just follow the arrow and I keep doing it. Now, the problem that I experience is that let's say, for example, I am in Redridge right now. And I want to kind of level in Red Ridge. I'm level like 15 or 16. And if I go to some of the available guides, it doesn't really tell you the best way to level in Red Ridge. It tells you to go to Red Ridge at around 19 to 20. But I'm only level 15 or 16. And I don't want to travel that much. This is why I installed Azeroth's Autopilot. Because this will give me help with the current, with the current zone that I'm in. That's why I'm using multiple add-ons. And that's why... I'm trying to see which one works best for me. So far, it's been doing a pretty nice job. In terms of other add-ons um, that I feel are very important, I feel classic cast bars are very, very important add-on. And this is um, classic cast bars right here because the enemy cast bars are not shown in classic World of Warcraft by default. So if I go to the test mode right now, so I click it here, and if I click on an enemy or a target, so you can see this is what it would look like if the player was actually casting something. And I feel this is a small add-on, but pretty much mandatory for a lot of content out there. And definitely, definitely pick it up. On top of other add-ons for mouseovers, I've been using Clicky or Click. 
which is very popular in BFA, especially if you're using Grid 2 or if you're using LDUI nameplates. Click A is basically an exact replication of mouse over macros, except it's way easier to do it because let's say I want to have, for example, holy light rank tree key binder to my right click button. I can just go into click a binding configuration and just right click it. Now my holy light rank tree is a right button. That's it. You don't have to write a macro. You don't have to do anything. You just click on it. It's, it takes a couple of seconds. I feel it's super, super mandatory for any healer out there. And if I want to keep my holy paladin or paladin is healer, this is pretty much a, a time saver. And it works really well. You can also add macros for this as well. You can bind other and run a, run a custom macro if you want to and set a keybind for it. It's super, super customizable. And the big advantage of click A over mouse overs is that it lets you keybind left mouse button and right mouse button. Mouse over macros, from what I remember, they don't let you do that. I haven't confirmed it, but I don't think they do. So click A, very important in my opinion for any healer out there. Another add-on that I feel is pretty important, again, it's very, very, very basic, is Omni CC. Omni CC is basically showing the cooldown on your abilities. If you use something, what is going to be the cooldown? For example, I used my shield or divine protection, and now it has a five minute kind of mark, and Omni CC does that. Again, very basic. So now in terms of combat add-ons, I'm using a certain or, a, a very popular add-on weapon swing timer so you can see here this blue line kind of shows me when the next hit is gonna happen for my two-hand sword i believe so it's used by a lot of different players just especially melee players to see when the weapon swing happens you, you're also able to set an add-on to show the swings of the mobs if you want to so i feel it's very very cool and i'm also using another weak or you can see here if i stun a person it shows the deep of duration on them and this is a weak or a classic while does not have this option and this goes on to my next section which is going to be weak auras weak auras 2 are available for classic world of warcraft so if i type in forward slash wa you can see that i have certain other weak auras or multiple weak auras at the moment i have nameplate debuffs you can get from mago Doyo. all these links are going to be provided in the description below so check that out and i also have mp5 bar so this is again a healer add-on add or healer weak or so if i cast it shows me the five second rule how long i have to wait before i get the extra mana regen and things like that so this is not really needed for early early leveling but i feel it's going to be pretty good later on when i'm raiding or doing five man content and things like that you can see it right here the five second rule going down so this has been a small overview of the add-ons that i've been using for classic world of warcraft if you want to see a complete list you can see the list right now that i have i do also have atlas i feel a lot of people i don't even need to talk about it to some extent because atlas is basically going to showcase the loot the bosses drop so if you go to dead mines level 17 to 26 i can see that the first boss drops this this minor johnson drops a nice shield you can see the models if you want cookie edwin van cleave and then you can see the items edwin van cleave drops some nice leather gear so atlas uh, atlas loot again pretty mandatory if you're interested to see what the bosses are dropping but i feel it's popular enough that people know about it already i have buff, buff watch classic which again you can see it here this is mainly for paladins only to show or at least it's used by quite a few people but paladins are really really prominent with this add-on because they have multiple blessings to keep track of so i feel that's a good add-on if if you're into or playing world of warcraft as a holy paladin i have faster looting which is actually very very cool because with faster looting and if you have auto loot enabled you just have to click the loot and it does it faster because the general or generic looting window takes extra couple of seconds and faster looting is probably going to be used by anyone who's trying to get the world first leveling it saves you a couple of seconds with every single loot like i mentioned i have guideline i mentioned i have qi nameplates i have guideline sage and guideline tugs leveling guides available here oh i also have tiny tooltip you can see here once i select myself you can see the tooltip on the bottom right again minimalistic add-ons i also have 
uh, Mer Inspect, which I feel is pretty interesting. I should probably cover this. If I go to my character pane, you can see the items that I have, the greens that I have, the enchants that I'm missing. I feel it's going to be visually pleasing later down the line as well. And I think that's majority, of course, DBM as well for later times. But this is a list of all of the add-ons that I'm using. I'm going to include all the links in the description below. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video. Let me know if I'm missing out on certain add-ons. If certain add-ons would be mandatory or very, very good to use. Leave a description, leave a comment below. I'll have a look at it. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in my next guide.